everybody, Blue Eye Jackson here, and today I will be showing you guys how to make unicorn horns. And they're really super cheap, especially if you want to make a ton, because you guys can buy some Crayola air dry clay, this stuff, and it's like $10, but it makes like 100 so that's like $0.10 cents for each horn. Then you'll also need some paint. And this stuff is like $0.69, cents, so you guys can get as many colors as you want for super inexpensive. Also, you'll need a glue gun and glue sticks. And we already had the glue gun lying around, but we bought these glittery glue sticks because they're just cuter, because unicorns are obviously glittery, and we thought that would be cuter. And finally, we used headbands from the dollar store. These are really common right about now and during the holiday times because the dollar store tends to sell any headbands festive. So these were a dollar at the dollar store, so pretty cheap. So all together, this whole headband would probably cost me about two, three dollars. Let's get started. I'm using Crayola air dry clay, and I'm taking one tablespoon. Don't take any more than one tablespoon. Even a little less is better. Knead it for about 30 seconds with your fingers. Use your thumb a lot because it's your strongest finger. Now rip it in half. Take one section and roll it out. Once it's made this shape, start to roll it out a little more on one end than the other. That will give it its cone shape. Once that's done, do the same to the other one. Make sure they're the same length. Once they're the same length, put the tips together. Wrap them around each other. Now push the tips together so they make a point. Now you'll notice there's a lot of these nail marks and odd lines. Just take your finger in some water and fix them. Once it's done, cut off the end so it has a straight end. Try not to smush the clay. Once you've made all the horns you want to make, you want them to dry. So you can either let them just stay out for three days, which is quite a while, but if you want them to be done that day that you made them, then you can put them in the oven at 200 degrees for two hours, but I mean it's better than three days, and every 20 minutes just flip them over so they don't burn. Okay, so now that your unicorn horns are done, you can paint them however you want, and the first one I'm going to be doing is an ombre. To be convenient, I'm going to be using a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And you're just going to cut it to however big you want, and then use that. I'm going to be doing blue, pink, purple, because I want it to go from lightest color to darkest color. I'm not going to be touching the blue all the way, because that's where the ombre will go. Eraser and take it in the purple and ombre. You might need your paintbrush again just to get inside those little creases. Finally, take this side of your sponge and dip it in the blue. Then we're going to ombre this a little more. So I found these bunny ears, but bunny's ears are a lot taller than unicorn ears, so I wrapped them around once or twice and then I hot glued them to stay. Do a lot because it's clay, so it's gonna need to really have a lot of hot glue. And 
we're just gonna be painting this one plain old silver. Whoa. That's really freaking cool. So I bought this accessory kit at the dollar store. We're gonna cut it up because we don't like the whole assemble of it. So we're gonna kind of change it a little bit. Cut the end of one of the sides of the ears. Now we're gonna cut these little ears off. So that bottom row of circles, you're gonna cut right above that. So the next step is to take these ears and push all the stuffing down so you have material at the top that doesn't have stuff. Once you have that material, you want to take your headband and place the ears where you want them. Now cut off any excess you have in the front. Okay, now glue. up our unicorn horn a little bit by adding some fur because the other one had fur but this one doesn't so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little thing that it came with and we're just gonna cut in between these ears so and then we have this and we're going to wrap it around the horn And I want that one to be on this one the most. So this one t shows up, I think, the most. So I'm going to start with the blue and put it there. So this next one I also got from the dollar store. And it's just some braided hair. And I tied it up with a little ponytail at the end so it can look like a, like a unicorn kind of tail. And then we're going to put the horn right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And comment down below what is your guys' favorite unicorn horn that we made. And make sure to try any of your guys' own styles. You don't have to use the same colors or styles or headbands that we use. It's just kind of giving you some, some inspiration to start off with. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. And we're going to try and get to 200k because that's kind of like the next milestone, you know. So I will see you guys later. Bye, Jackson.